Welcome back, it's me, Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today is going to be a special video as it's going to be a double feature. So today's video, we're going to be taking a look at two different vehicle sets. Um, the first one we're going to look at is the Mongoose with Master Chief. And the second set we are going to compare it with is the Gun Goose uh, with Spartan Selox. All right, so these two vehicles are essentially the same with some minor differences. Um, so for this video, I wanted to do, to do a double feature just so we could do the, um, you know, see the, 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 the similarities and differences, especially since, um, uh, you know, this figure here is the much earlier release and the Gun Goose is the much more recent one. All right, so let's get this started. All right, let, we'll begin with um, the Mongoose here. All right, so the Mongoose belongs to the Halo, um, the World of Halo line of action figures. So this is produced by Jazzwares, and for those of you who are familiar uh, with their current Halo toy lines, uh, Jazzwares is cu currently producing two different lines of Halo action figures. Uh, there's the much larger six-inch scale Spartan collection. And that uh, more so focuses on the different Spartan armors. Uh, the other line is the much smaller scale action figure line. Um, you're looking at a line of action figures that fall within the 4 inch range. And that's the World of Halo line. Uh, the World of Halo line of action figures is a much broader toy line. Um, not only does it include um, the, the different Spartan armors, it also includes... The, the, the different alien types like the banished um you also it also includes different vehicles like the mongoose here there's also the warthog uh there's the shade turret there's the mantis um so the world of halo it's a really cool fun toy line uh don't sleep on it especially if you're very fond of like um the smaller three and three quarter gi joe action figures um you know if, if you love that that kind of stuff the smaller scale action figures with the vehicles um, you know, the world of Halo, I think, you know, this is something that's gonna like feel very familiar and it's just fun all around, especially considering that you're getting a lot of cool vehicles out of this. You're getting a lot of, you know, a lot of cool action figures. You know, it's fun for world building. It's good for army building. Uh, these, the smaller scale figures are great for creating dioramas and displays. Alright, so let's get this started. So first up, the Mongoose, uh, as seen in the new world of Halo Scale. This is this line of action figure. Uh, the package design, uh, this is more in line with the first series release. Th they've kind of changed it. And with the early release of the vehicles, um, you, you had this giant window that would showcase the actual toy and the figure you were getting. Uh, the much later release of the vehicles, like the Gun Goose, it's a mostly closed box with a very small window uh, but I dig this a lot you know for me it's awesome being able to see the you know the actual vehicle you're getting and then you know to have Master Chief on the side that looks awesome on the back of the box this is very lazy you don't have anything going on except for a picture of Master Chief running you don't have any description of the mongoose. You don't have any description of the universe. It doesn't talk about Halo Infinite at all. Nothing about Master Chief. Um, I kind of theorize that the, one of the reasons why this the back of the box is as bare as it is is because Halo Infinite, you know, when they first announced the game, um, it was eventually delayed. And I think just to avoid spoilers or maybe Jazzwares didn't have a whole lot to run with, um, you know, maybe they just opted just to have a plain graphic as opposed to like um, listing all the figures in the wave or, you know, additional photography or descriptions about the game or, you know, the actual mongoose itself. All right, let's take this out of the box. All right, and to warn you in advance, I say this a lot in my videos. I'm like losing my voice. Um, I've, I've recorded like close to 10 videos today on the span of like a couple of hours. So my throat is shot and I'm just, <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to lose my voice at any second. But I really just want to power through all these video reviews. I just want to get them done with. 
and partially because I'm also excited to check these toys out. But, at, you know, I kind of want to, you know, my, the whole point of my YouTube channel is to, like, you know, unbox these toys and share the experience with you. So, All right, let's get this out. It's kind of it's being stubborn. All right, so first impressions of the mongoose. While it's still in the tray, um, this looks great. It 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 looks fantastic. Um, yeah, this looks awesome. Very excited to check this out. Uh, the detailing and sculpting on this looks amazing. Um, uh, the profile of this it really captures the essence of this vehicle. Wow, this is nice. I'm liking this a lot. Alright, so we have Master Chief over here. I'm really looking forward to comparing the two different uh, vehicles, comparing the Mongoose with the Gun Goose. Alright, so first off, let's take a look at Master Chief. Um, Alright, so chances are, if you're into this toy line, um, You've probably handled this Master Chief over like time and time again. It seems like one out of every three figures in the world of Halo line is a Master Chief figure. Um, it's to be expected. You know, he's the he's the main character of the game, and it only makes sense that he's readily available in the toy line. Um, but it, I kind of feel like it's, there's too many. <laughs> you know, it's like every set has a Master Chief figure in it, and it, at some point, if you're just building up this world of like um, Halo action figures, it's going to be kind of weird to have this, like, an entire, this, like, army of this all Master Chiefs. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, it's a great figure at the scale. You know, this is a guy, I think he measures in at about, I want to say five inches. Um, if you haven't handled him already in terms of his articulation, his head rotates, and there's a, there's a lot of motion here, you know, he, he could look down. He could look up. Um, his waist rotate. I mean, his arms rotate. They could go out. Um, he has elbow articulation, elbow swivel, uh, elbow bend, wrist articulation. Uh, he does not have a waist swivel, but he does have a cut uh, underneath his chest line, so it allows for some movement, like so. Uh, he could kick forward. He could kick out. Um, double jointed knees, you can see both pins there. Um, ankle articulation. Um, the sculpting on him is really well done. I've said this before in one of my previous videos, so it seems like it, now I could be wrong, but at least it, with my experience with these figures, it seems like, um, the earlier series, like series one, uh, the sculpting on the Master Chief figure feels and looks a lot sharper and crisper than the Master Chief figures, like in the later series, maybe like later series three or four or whatever. Um, and I kind of theorize maybe it's because the mold's been used so much that, you know, as it progresses forward, the later figures that are, you know, put out, they just look softer in, in their sculpting. But I don't know, the Series 1 figures, um, especially for the armored figures, the sculpting looks really nice and sharp. And it's it's really well detailed. It's a great figure, especially at this size. Um, he has a socket on his back, 
And then uh, there's always a peg on the weapon so you could store the weapon on his back, which is a nice convenience, just like that. All right, let's take a look at the mongoose. <coughs> um, excuse me. All right, from the profile view, it looks like what it's supposed to look like. Really clean design. Um, all the details look to be accounted for. Uh, the front of the vehicle looks great. You know, this is a great all-terrain vehicle. I love the look of the vehicle from overhead. You know, you get a really good idea of like its proportions. Um, what's especially nice is that the graphics on here, they're not stickers or decals. They're, they look like they're actually screened onto the plastic. Or tampoed. They might be actually be tampoed on. But either way, they're permanent. You know, I hate having stickers on vehicles. Uh, the handlebars look great. Look at that detail. It's nice. So you can see Master Chief. Um, let's see how he fits on here. Yeah, the proportions and the scale seem they seem they seem correct. He doesn't seem too small, he doesn't seem too big. You know, you can get some nice angles on here just like that. Really, really nice. Impressive. Yeah, let's just look at that. You know, you could kind of imagine him uh Master Chief coming over the hill on the mongoose as he like starts raiding the banished outposts and he's trying to just like take over the map. You know, free the marine prisoners. It looks cool. Um, so if you had another figure, which I don't at the moment, um, you can see it like a gunner in the back. Uh, there's additional foot pegs over here. And if you want, you can... Let's see if I can line it up right. Yeah, essentially you can seat another figure back here and you can pretend that this dude's, um, you know, making sure no one's tailing them. Um, this is cool. I, I dig this so much. It's it's so awesome. So yeah, you definitely need at least two figures for this. You know, you have the pot, you have the driver and then you can have the guy manning the back. Really well done. Excellent. Excellent vehicle. Uh, the sculpting superb. The wheels look great. You know, you have nice tread on the tires. Uh, underneath, uh, it's kind of lacking in detail, but that's all right. You're not necessarily going to see it. Um, oh, wow, that's cool. So it even has, you know, the suspension. Now, I'm not sure if it's ratcheted or not, or, or if this is friction. On one side, it feels like there's an indent, so maybe it locks into place. But it's kind of cool that you have this fake suspension in the back. So that's neat. Um, you kind of have like a small guardrail or fender in the front. Uh, there's the headlights. Yeah, very solid vehicle all around. I'm digging this. Okay, so we're not done. You know, like I stated earlier, this is going to be a double feature. So let's pull out the gun goose. All right, so we're going to set this guy aside for now. And we have the Halo uh, gun goose with Spartan Selox right here. Includes one figure. Um, as you can see here, it shares many similarities with the mongoose, um, but this one has the guns mounted on the top, hence the name Gun Goose. And the blasting effects are simulated, so this thing does not actually shoot. This is also a part of the World of Halo line of figures. 
Um, so this one, the, ba the back of the box is a lot nicer. Um, they show you the different figures available. So in the, it, the individual figures available in this wave include... Uh, I can't read this. Uh, I think it says Spartan Ed or Iod. Um, it's kind of faded. Uh, Master Chief, you have a Jackal Raider. You have Spartan Cavling, Hyperius, the Elite Mercenary. That's the figure I really want. Um, there's the two packs. There's um, Master Chief with Tovaris, uh, the Marine with the Jackal. And then in terms of vehicles, um, the Gun Goose, which we're looking at, and there's also the Shade Turret. Um, this came out, I believe, this year, 2021. I think that's when this came out. So the the mongoose that we were looking at, I believe that came out in 2020. So this this one here is the much more recent toy. Okay, let's get uh, this guy out. All right, so we have Spartan Sullox here. And let's take out the gun goose. All right, in terms of Spartan Cellox, great looking action figure. Um, let me compare the size with Master Chief here. Um, Alright, so Spartan Cellox is slightly shorter than Master Chief, as you can see. Uh, not by much. Um, I love the blue on the Spartan armor. It looks great. There's some... There's some... Ah, there's some weathering and also some, like, battle damage. So it looks like, you know, makes the character looks like it's been lived, the armor's been lived in, it's seen some battle, some wear and tear, it looks nice. I love the shade of blue, it looks awesome. It's great having options, and in the world of Halo, there's so many options in terms of the Spartan armor. It's almost like in Star Wars, where there's so many different classifications of, like, Stormtrooper armor. Um, much like Master Chief in terms of articulation, you have head rotation, head looks down, looks forward, um, arms rotate, they can go out, um, you have uh, elbow bend, let me see if I can get to bend, elbow swivel, wrist articulation, uh, there is no weight, oh this one, this one has waist articulation, that's awesome. So whereas Master Chief does not have waist articulation, this one not only rotates at the waist, but it also has that break underneath the chest line. Um, in terms of ab crunch, there is no ab crunch. Um, kicks forward, kicks out, double jointed knees, you can see the pins there. Um, ankle articulation, uh, socket in the back, peg on the weapon, you can plug it in. Just like that. 
All right, so this is what I'm excited about, the Gun Goose. So for the most part, you're looking at a vehicle that's essentially the same as the Mongoose. The only thing different is that the guns are, it has guns mounted on the front. Um, for some reason, mine don't look like they're placed even. They kind of look, one looks kind of a little bit crooked. This one looks pretty straight. This one looks a little bit off by a little bit. I don't know if these rotate or what holds them in place. Oh, but that's all right. Um, much like the mongoose we were reviewing earlier, this one has the suspension here on the legs, or I mean, has the suspension on the frame. Um, the design, it just, it's essentially the same thing. Like I said, I think the only thing different is just the, the, the addition of the guns on the front. But otherwise, you're looking at the same vehicle. Uh, here's the mongoose. So you can see here, um, the gun goose is it's better equipped for combat, having the, the guns in the front. You know, it's nice that it has like some sort of like aggressive option in terms of the weapons. Whereas the mongoose doesn't really have weapons, you know. Um, in terms of the, the colors, I want to say they're identical. They look to be identical. Um, I could, it might just be the lighting, but for some reason, I want to say that this one, the gun goose looks a teeny, teeny bit darker than this one. I might be wrong though, or it just might be my lighting. I can't tell. Yeah. So very cool vehicle. Let's seat the Spartan on the on it and see how it looks with the driver on it. Very tight joints on the knees. Yeah, so excellent, excellent look. Uh, the scale and proportions are, are done well. You know, the, the Spartan doesn't look too small, doesn't look too big. And as I pointed out before, you know, if you have two figures, you can see one in the back. Let's give this guy a gun. You can see one in the back, and this guy could, like, you know, be the gunner. You know, so, like, you know, worst case scenario, they're being chased by, like, you know, an elite on, like, a ghost, and they're, like, traveling through the valley. This guy could, like, you know, fend them off. Really, really cool. Great vehicle. Um, so... As of this recording, it's December 31st, 2021, and the vehicle sets, um, like the Gun Goose, were on sale at my local Target. Um, I believe the I believe the standard price of this might have been like, I want to say $24 or $22, but I remember I purchased this on sale for maybe $13 or $14. Bucks. I don't know if it was a limited time sale, you know, you know, post holiday, just trying to clear the shelves or what, but I remember getting a great deal on this, and it was pretty much sold out at all the targets in my area except for one. So I was pretty lucky to be able to snag one of these for like a cheap price. All right, let's talk numbers here. Um, how do I rate these guys? Um, on a scale of one to ten. For me, an easy nine. Either one is an easy nine. Um, in terms of which one do I prefer, in all honesty, as much as I love the idea of the gun goose and it having the guns mounted in the front, I just kind of like the the sleekness and this kind of the simple design of the plain mongoose. Um, 
This looks cool, but the guns feel a little bit overkill for me. Um, but it's it's a great option. You know, if you could, and if, you know, if you could afford more than one, it, it, you know, you could do like me and just have you know one of each. You know, I think it's kind of cool to be able to spice it up and have some, you know, have some variety in your vehicles. But for the most part, I think if you only need one of these, I think you're you're all right with this getting the plain um, mongoose if you could find it. But like I said, this came out around the time maybe of the first, you know, the first series. Uh, this is the one that you're more likely to find on the shelves right now. Um, in terms of the figures, this thing rules. I love having a figure that's not Master Chief. So this is a great figure. Yeah, bo both of them are really great sets. You know, don't sleep on either of these. You know, if you're interested in having a, more vehicles besides having this, like the Mantis or the Warthog, I think uh, the Gun Goose or the Mongoose are great options. All right, so let's wrap this video up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. Thank you so much for checking out my video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you so much for your continued likes, comments, and support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.